All right, guys, so great news. I got the new turbo for the Supra. And if you guys already know, I'm a firm believer in Pulsar turbos. Uh, yes, they do come from China, but no, they are not anything like any of the Chinese turbos you would think. And I will show you what I mean. Actually, I'll show you what I mean right now. Here we go. You ready? Here you go. Pulsar turbo. Ball bearing, okay? I am a firm believer in them. I'm gonna run them on both my cars. Austin's running it on his car. Levi's running it on his diesel. Fantastic turbos. I'm gonna bust this box open real quick. All right guys, so I can say one thing. I think they get a little bit confused because they sent me a freaking T3 gasket when obviously I run a T4. So let me just pop this thing open for you guys and you guys can see the beauty that it is. So this is a GTX 3584RS, the T51R mod, and is also dual ball bearing, and it is beautiful. Cannot wait to put this on the Supra, because it's going to look really, really good. I cannot wait. It's going to be nice, and it's going to sound really, really good. So one other thing that I can say about them, and you can just see how nice they are. They're perfect, they look beautiful. And uh, most turbos you guys see from eBay do not offer a cooling port for the turbos. So that's one good thing that I've seen with this one here. They offer coolant ports for cooling the turbos. There's even, uh, well, this one doesn't have it, but my G series on the 240 has a speed sensor. So that's something that you don't see offered on any eBay type turbos, but you guys can see. That, that's not typical for a cheap turbo. And I mean, this wasn't cheap, it was about $900, which is obviously not like precision or Garrett type money, but every company has to start somewhere and these guys have proven themselves. I'm gonna go ahead and get this turbo ripped off here. It shouldn't be that hard. It should be literally, I'm like swapping turbos, so it really should not be that bad. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple adjustments with my exhaust. You guys can see that my O2 sensor is actually touching the valve cover. Also, my wife does a freaking fantastic job on the yard. Look how professional that is. Perfect yard to house two amazing cars. I mean, look at that thing. It's a freaking beast. Look how much better that looks. So much better. Nice freaking ball bearing turbo. So much more beautiful up in this bay. I'll do some my minor adjustments here because that turbo is much smaller than this one. So a lot of the placements are a little bit different, but nothing that's too much to handle. I'll have to get it on there and undo the actual down pipe and then bolt it up here and then see what kind of adjustment I'm gonna have to do down low. But I'm still probably gonna have to put a dent inside of the pipe to clear the manifold so I can do some minor adjustment for the uh, O2 sensors, but that's no big deal. Pretty easy to get through and get around. This week, should be able to make some real sick spooling sounds. But you guys gotta remember, I can't turn it up. So the cool little sounds you guys are gonna hear, that's about all I'm gonna be able to put out for you because this transmission is much too glass-like for me to put out any kind of power. For those of you wanting all that crazy action, you're gonna have to wait for that car, or at least until I get a T56 put in this. But hey, stick around anyways. Make sure you go and hit the subscribe button and follow them. But let's get this thing buttoned up and see what it sounds like. I cannot wait to hear what the freaking T51R mod sounds like. I have been really waiting so I could hear what this one sounds like. This one's probably, this one's just gonna sound nuts, but it's crazy the size difference of turbos between the both of these. And this is GTX 35. This is a Gen 2. That one over there's a Gen 3, so. All right, so as it always is, I'm always filming two videos at the same time. So the Supra, just about finished here. Not very much left to do. One of the major things I'm gonna have to do here, um, I'm gonna have to shorten up my return and get it to where there's no kink in it because yes, sadly, I was running it with a kink. I know that's no good. You're not supposed to do that. Obviously, I know that, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna get that freaking all worked out and fixed, and I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get this to work underneath 
up into the turbo because this exhaust manifold is a little bit different. I don't understand how this is gonna work, but I guess we're just gonna have to figure it out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna work with it. But I need to figure out what I want to do with the piping. So I'm gonna look at the piping that I have laying around and my couplers, see what I can do. All right guys, so hand-me-down parts are literally the best. If you guys remember, the bronze piping used to be on the 240 before I changed the entire setup. But it's like literally a let's get ready to rumble type of setup here. Oh my god, just uh, totally ignore that I just said the, that that was that was really stupid. Okay, anyways, that thing is a one-piece pipe. Uh, unfortunately, there's uh, a couple couplers, but hey, it's two pieces on this side. Not that big of a deal, but it's ready to go. Uh, sadly, my IAT sensor, that actually used to be at the throttle body on the 240. Can you freaking believe that it fits on this side? It's crazy. It's freaking insane. All right, so since my piping and everything is all like basically mocked up here, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off and then I'm going to get the turbo and everything all snugged down. And I need to go and get some fittings for my waist skates. I'm also gonna get up under the car undo my bolts like I was saying, get my uh, downpipe clocked. If it does not work, I'm going to just uh, dent it up on the side there. It won't be that big of a deal just to clearance it. Uh, it's not gonna be that crazy. This car is not gonna make anywhere near the power that this car does. So this thing is gonna be basically a little bit less power than this was. So mm, me about really low boost, like in a general area. It's gonna sound amazing, don't get me wrong but it's not gonna be anywhere like it was over here. So if you guys are following for this, just continue following because this car is gonna be on its own thing, okay? Supra is just, I want something to enjoy without trying to kill myself. That thing is way too much now. All right, guys, after a freaking long, stressful process, I finally got it. The moment of truth. It's time to see what this thing sounds like. Oh man, T51 R mod. Let's go, let's go. It's freaking time, let's do this. Oh my God, this is gonna be crazy. Crap, I gotta plug my battery in. Oh ho ho ho. I am excited to hear what this thing sounds like. to it because that sounds crazy. This thing has a lot of flutter. Holy cow. just makes a huge difference. Hope you guys can hear it. Ah, stupid intercooler piping. This is why I put alpha locks on the 240 guys. This is why I put alpha locks on the 240. Oh, it's disappointing. This turbo is crazy loud, guys. <laughs> That's exciting. I love that sound. Totally worth it.
All right, freaking holy crap. I am beyond excited for this thing. This turbo sounds incredible. It is, well, I'll probably just put it in the title of the video, but GTX 3584RS dual ball bearing turbo with T51R mod. The God damn, it's freaking loud. Also, just for an example, I was running it with the filter and that takes up a lot of the sound. So that is just freaking wild. So I also figured out what the smoke was coming from and I'm actually pretty stupid for not really realizing it. The coupler was touching the manifold. <laughs> pretty straightforward. Merle said he's gonna weld on an elbow for me. So I'm gonna order a uh, elbow for my compressor housing. He'll weld that on, we'll be good to go. And I'll have this thing going, tuned for boost, all that good stuff. But that thing is next. This thing's going on hold, that thing is next. Now that this is finished, ish, finished ish, that thing is ready, coming up next. For everybody waiting for Ricebox, now's the time. That's gonna be it for this video. Stay tuned for Ricebox, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.